I'm uh, Max Krohn, uh, work in the factory with Moment Skis, and um, here I am with the 2012-2013 uh, uh, Vibby Pro. Uh, the ski has a um, <clears throat> pretty uh, moderate flex, uh, something that people enjoy for charging, but at the same time having the profile that it does. It's got a camber underfoot with a significant amount of rocker and the tip and tail. Uh, a lot of people use this as their one ski quiver. It's pretty versatile, stiff enough to uh, carve GS turns down groomers, but at the same time, uh, the rocker and the tip and tail uh, and the fatness of it all allows you to really bounce around in the powder. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, Aspen and Pine core with uh, <clears throat> carbon fiber stringers running up along the uh, tip and tail. And um, <clears throat> Comes in a 174, a 184, and a 190. Uh, definitely, it's our best-selling ski. It's something that everyone really loves, and uh, our friend Josh Bibby uh, did a great job coming up with the uh, the design for it. Um, here we have our uh, Death Wish, which is a new new model to the line. Uh, it's a 112 underfoot with a 138 tip and a 129 tail. It's uh, Aspen and Pine core. Um, and uh, the real kicker with these skis is taking a look at the uh, camber profile. When I first saw this, I was totally just kind of blown away, a little confused to be honest. I was wondering why in the world are there three different points of camber. Um, essentially what that does is creates four focal points when you're on edge. Four points where the contact is the most, you know, the most major contact with the snow when you're on edge. Uh, what that does is, uh, when you're carving, it's almost like having a serrated knife going through, going through the snow because your weight is distributed to these four points instead of consistently along the camber. And um, everyone who's tried them, mostly on hard snow, because so far in Tahoe that's all we've gotten, has, uh, has been extremely impressed with their ability to carve and to really rip through the hard stuff, especially for a ski so fat, they just felt extremely lively. Um, so definitely really psyched on their performance on the hard snow, and at the same time, they're uh, super fat, you know, or pretty fat, and you know, with rocker, so obviously they're gonna perform as, as they look like they're gonna perform in powder. So overall, I think people are really psyched on these as, as a, another kind of idea for a one-ski quiver.